Hey hello there everyone, my name is Anthony and today I have very good news. Um, my skill, the skill I designed, actually made it to the um, to the shortlist of the RuneScape homepage. Now, before um, being that happy, I have to say that at the same time I'm not on the shortlist. And now you probably don't get what I'm talking about, but um, I think that someone else has had the same idea as I have and his idea got chosen. Now, I don't feel bad at all about this and I will explain you why. I have seen the whole post because you can just go to the RuneScape homepage, you can just see the um, the shortlist of all skills that are um, on the shortlist and if I read everything he says then it's exactly the same as I have um, designed. So basically it's my idea and at the same time it's not because I didn't create that word file so I've had a little fight in my clan chat for a while because you know I was a little bit frustrated you know and that's understandable because I've put more than 10 hours of work into my um, word document and then you are seeing that someone else wins with the same idea and well I don't really care at all that's okay but what happened basically was that I just told in my clan chat that my idea was chosen and they started complaining that it's not my idea because it's not my thread and I understand that at one point and on the other hand I think you know I didn't know that guy it was my own idea and basically my idea also won so I don't need the credit I'm just so happy that my skill got chosen now if you only have watched this video and not the first video then I will explain you um, just in a nutshell what the skill um, actually is so the first thing to say is this new skill is called the artisan skill um, the name I um, actually designed was the producer skill. It's actually because of my name, but I didn't want to tell that. But anyways, the name of the skill is the artisan skill. And basically, this is a non-combat variant of Slayer. So, as we all know, your Slayer skill is trained by going to a Slayer's master to assign you a monster task. You kill the monsters and you get Slayer XP. But I was like why don't we create a non-combat slayer skill to get non-combat tasks and also get um, experience in a new skill so this is basically the idea and the benefits of this is that there is not one way to train all your skills to 99 because you now have the artisan skill to train your um, skills more even also um, you get other benefits because you can get additional rewards such as clue scrolls um, while scaling or other benefits like XP boosting rewards or resource packs or whatever you want to do but it's just more fun to train your combat of I mean your um, your other your non-combat skills this way so it's a really cool idea and I really want to go um, to the RuneScape homepage post with you guys to read through everything um, to read through the post um, which is on your old school RuneScape page so see you in a minute in a few seconds I will be back so hey there guys, here I am again. I'm now on the RuneScape um, forums and here I have all these skill ideas. So I will first talk about my skill and then later on I will get to the other skills for a little bit. But I will mainly talk about my idea of course because I'm really excited for this. It's really cool. So K has posted this and this is not my word file so you must know that. It's basically the same idea so I will, will read through it and I will tell you what's exactly my idea but this is not my thread so probably someone else had the same idea very nice congratulations for you um, that they picked yours and not mine but I don't really care because it's basically my skill as well so skill description enjoy a new way of training variety of non-combat skills with the artisan skill which seeks to renew I don't I can't pronounce the word to rejuvenate the underused or outdated skills with new resources, craftable abilities and unique rewards. On its surface, Artisan can be summarized as a non-combat variant, variant of Slayer, version of Slayer. But that is exactly what I've said in my, um, in my video. It's a non-combat variant of Slayer. The basic structure relies on receiving and completing skilling tasks from various Artisan masters throughout the world. Exactly the same. However, it is far more in-depth than just single mechanic. This document will explain how to train the skill, some of the possible rewards, and a few reasons it would make a good addition to the old school game. 
So training the skill, gaining experience in Artisan is simple. Scattered throughout the world are Artisan Masters that the player can speak with to request a new Artisan task. This is also exactly the same as I have um, created. Uh, but I didn't create Artisan Masters but Producer Masters, but it's exactly the same concept. So Artisan tasks are assignments to train one non-combat skill by completing an objective X times from the following list of skills. So now you have a list of skills here, cooking, wood cutting, flashing, fishing, fire making, crafting, smithing, mining, herb room room crafting and hunter. So it's almost the same, the only skills I didn't include were hunter um, and fire making and I didn't know what to do with herb lore yet. So here are some examples of artisan tasks the player may be given. Well, for example, your ta your next task is to chop 512 jewelogs. This is also exactly the same as I have um, designed, but I used an example of maple logs. So it's just the same. And here you have something with room crafting and with smithing. So you gain experience um, equal to the experience you gain when completing one item of the objective. The artisan task objective and amount depend on two things player's level in the selected skill and the tier of artisan master that assigns the task which is also the same I will go I will talk about that later the artisan tasks will all be, always be level appropriate so the player will never be assigned to burn magic logs if the player cannot so you won't get an assignment you can't complete yet and higher tiered artisan masters will be more likely to assign higher leveled objective and a higher quota to meet so here is a potential list of artisan masters by tier and requirements to use. So this is also exactly the same I have explained. There are five producer masters, or in this case artisan masters, and you all need um, certain requirements to get to the master. It's just the same. I don't know what to say about that. It's actually, it feels that the idea is robbed from me. It could be possible, by the way, because I've uploaded like the idea like two days after they released this idea of designing your own skills, so who knows, but I don't really care. When completing an artisan task, a player has a chance of finding extra loot. This is something different. I didn't uh, conclude this in my, um, in my own idea. Rarely, a tradable cosmetic item pertaining to the skill being completed, a clue scroll, um, drop from a rare loot table, whatever, um, blah, blah, blah. a player has a chance to find a mode of inspiration, which is something new as well. A mode of inspiration is a stackable, tradable resource that is used in all artisan crafting, explained in the rewards section. section. After a task is completed, like in Slayer, the player receives artisan points, which can be used at artisan masters to buy unique rewards. Also this, guys, this is exactly the same as my idea. You can go to, uh, back to the video, I will put a link in the video and in the description so you can read all of it, it's exactly the same. So possible skill rewards, um, this is the whole point of the skill, exactly. Um, there are three ways that Artisan rewards the player. Random finds while scaling for a task, rare cosmetic items rela relating to the skill, various level clue scrolls, items for the rare drop table, alright. Crafting unique items using a combination of different skills, items, modes of inspiration, buying rewards from master artisans with artisan points, almost the same. But I will go, um, I will speak uh, about this later because this idea comes back later in the um, in this thing, and I also mentioned this idea. So artisan is meant to breathe new life into non-combat skills by allowing the player to create new items with the correct levels. An artisan craftable item is always an artisan level requirement, one or more non-combat skill requirements and the number of necessary modes. Optionally, it can also require other items. So fire making and smithing are two skills that a lot of people complain are underused. So as an example, there are pot some potential artisan items that could be crafted with artisan using these skills, as well as an example of how gathering skills could benefit benefit from artisan. So here you have some ideas about creature effigies, which will um, obviously um, boost your levels, grants a five percent damage boost against creature against the creature it is fashioned um, after for five to minute, minutes after it's burned to craft. Well, this is actually, you use the skills to get benefits of other skills, which is a cool idea, right? So here we are with artisan tools, tradable, not stackable. This is also something I have um, um, created or designed. Artisan tools are pickaxes and hatches that have the same skill bonuses as the metal tiers but have no combat bonuses and do not require an attack level to wield. To craft, use the mode of inspiration on an anvil to bring up the interface, select item to smith. So. This is almost the same as I um, as I told in my video, like you have special axes and hatchets and tools to use on your skilling tasks with, um, with some benefits. So it's not exactly the same by the way, because my idea was to have one um, 
combination of tools in one tool, but this is something similar to that, and also a nice idea, of course. So inspired ores, inspired ores are um, ores infused with the power of inspiration and grant a chance to produce an extra ore for every ore mined for the next 28 rocks mined. To craft, use an ore on a mode of inspiration and to bring up the interface and select what ore to inspire, to use left click and inspired ore. So this is also to benefit from scaling to, um, to get more loot from scaling. Those serve as, an, as examples for the dire direction I would like Jagex to the uh, artisan crafting system in. Multiple skills working together to create a stronger sense of worth for all skills and the feeling that racing artisan really will help the skilling. This is, I keep saying it, I'm sorry, but this is also exactly the same. My idea was to have a skill that makes you train other skills together. To train all your skills even, that no skills will be left behind, so it's, it's exactly the same. Finally, rewards sold by master artisans for artisan points should be skilling centric and benefit the player's skilling and experience. As an example, there are some possible rewards that could be brought, bought with points. So, um, untradable resource packs from a random amount, 1 to 28 or something, or a random resource, which is not the same as I um, designed, but it's it's something similar. Um, banning certain skills um, from being select for, selected for a task, alright. Preferring certain skills for being selected, which is the same um, as I um, designed. Artisan experience, which is not exactly the same, but I did have, I did conclude experience in my um, in my reward tab, and herb packs, which is also a good idea. Now, why this skill is needed, which is also um, like the summary of this whole thing, and also exactly the same as I said. First of all, compromise. The skill is a great compromise between the people who want a new skill and the people who think the old skills need more attention instead, because it really relives that content in the game. Verity. Artisan will allow players to experience a wider variety of gameplay than singular, singular grinding while earning great rewards and unlocking new abilities items, which is also exactly the same as I said. And last but not least, balanced. This skill would help support the non-combat skills by allowing them to work in tandem to create greater uses. It's no secret that combat has been long has long been the most profitable activity in game and gets the most attention, new items and updates. Artisan would balance this by creating more use for non-combat skills and more incentive to train more of them. Things for reading. So also this last thing is like exactly the same as I said. Slayer is the most wanted skill in the game, the most um the most rewarding skill in the game and people like this so why don't we make a non-combat variant of this in the producer skill and in this case the artisan skill so I've, I've seen the whole thing now you've seen the whole thing now and if you go to my old video right now and compare this to each other it's I think it's for 90% the same only a few things are different like a few different tasks or a few different um, rewards but that's it it's basically my reward and uh, not my reward it's my idea so I may not get the credit of this but I don't need the credit so I really wanted to make this video just to let you guys know that I'm very happy with this you can now vote for this skill vote for the artisan skill because really I've seen the other skills and they are cool as well but most of the other skills are like related to mini games or it's not something that you should have a full skill of and I think this really helps people to um, to enjoy RuneScape again, to train their skills, to uh, motivate them to do something else. So, thank you for this. Um, I will now get back to um, to the polls, because this skill is getting pulled already. You can pull right now, you can vote already. And at this point, I'm not sure if it's still the case, but I'm sure it is, actually. <laughs> I'm Actually, I'm sure um, that this skill is voted as number one right now. The last time I checked, um, this skill has um, had 51% of all votes, divided over 5 skills. So if this skill only has 51%, that means that the other skills, the other 4 skills have 49% in total. So this skill is definitely going to win if it keeps going like this. So I will now shut my mouth because I've been talking for way too long. Um, thank you for paying attention if you did. Um, I'm going to the, um, to the poll right now to let you see... Um, how many votes there are at the moment. So guys, as you can see, I didn't refresh the page yet, it was still from a few uh, minutes ago, but as you can see, 51% for the artisan skill, um, 332, uh, 33 votes, and compared to this, 
this is just the winning skill and this is all like almost the same and this skill is definitely winning so I'm going to refresh the page and who knows what has changed alright so I got a little less right now but still it's it's winning you know 41 um, 491 votes it's still pretty high and if it keeps going like this like I said then it will definitely win so the other skills um, I cannot tell that much about them um, if I'm going to go qu through them quickly then I can say about hurting that this is a skill to um, like it's about animals like raising animals so not summoning but breeding um, birds and and things like that and um, so it's like training your animals not combat wise but just um, hurting <laughs> I don't know what to say about it um, then we have geomancy and I think this is a pretty cool idea this is like um, something similar to um, uh, what is this skill called to I really can't think what is it called um, now nah. archaeology yes <laughs> thank you for waiting um, until this this moment this clear moment archaeology archaeology wow so yeah th that's basically the idea so you can just find artifacts on the ground and statues and um, necklaces and things like that and it's a pretty cool idea you should read it on your homepage forestry is more like a mini game to me it's like and you have your own forest and you need different skills to um, to make this forest healthy again and you can do this, this with more players and things like that um, the astronomy skill is something like I don't know if you know the minigame the shooting stars from mining that uh, the comet fr comes um, from the air and you can mine it it's basically this um, with of course some other aspects um, but I think this also should be a minigame and not a skill um, on its own so that's basically it um, I'm not going to tell everything about the other skills because you can read it for yourself and I'm really excited for the artisan skill of course um, so but I would really wanted you to know what the other skills are so that's what I have to say about this so hey hello there guys I'm back um, to end this video I really want to say that I'm very glad um, that my idea has made it basically to the shortlist I know I don't take the credit of the um, of the idea on the shortlist because it's not exactly my word file but I'm really proud of it still even though I spent more than 10 hours on um, creating my own idea the, the idea actually made it so I don't care who, who gets the credit I'm just very glad that this idea has made it so far so um, what I want to say is that I'm really satisfied so you should know that one other thing is that um, before this skill gets in the game um, it needs to be pulled after this poll so the poll you have seen now is about which skill is the best idea and after this poll they will pull the best idea to be implemented into the game and that will only happen if 75 percent or more votes yes so we still need to wait for that but from now from now on um, I'll just wait until uh, the new poll comes up and I just can't wait for the moment because it would be really cool to introduce this new skill to the game I really think that's a very cool idea so I'm going to end this video right here because it's going to be way too long if I keep going like this thank you for watching I hope you're happy for me because I'm really happy right now and I'll see you next time with another episode of my skiller uh, account probably so see you um, see you soon and thank you for watching bye bye